something off about the Comet uh, R2 Swan, for sure. I still think he, it has something off since the beginning, starting by appearing from nowhere, remember, very recently. So it was a late discovery, so very recent, that's why it is C slash 2025, because it was just discovery. If it was an old one, it would have, I don't know, 2015, 14, 2016, something like that. That's an old one. But this is new. This I like it. And it was... Uh, I watch a lot of comets here. And this was the only one that grabbed me the attention. Not as much as an object that doesn't look like a comet at all, which is 3 I Atlas. 3 I Atlas to me is Alien Man, 100% and is interstellar. This is not, supposedly, is not interstellar. But 3 I Atlas is very different, man. Totally different. It's a gem. Connecting to telescope. It's here, man. It moved, it's here. Freaking comet or whatever it is, it's here, man. It looks like 3 I Atlas. It's much harder now to see it. I didn't expect this. I was expecting a piece of cake. Yeah, it's this, man, it's moving. And look at this thing around it. I'm using inverted colors, so I invert the colors to the opposite, only that. It doesn't change anything. The shape of it's still there, and it's moving. It looks like when we were watching in July and August 3 I Atlas. But this one has a, a, more, a more intense thing around it. There we go, it's, it, it has a glow that is different. Now we can see the green stuff, you see, it's starting to give a little bit of it. I can't see any tail. And they are talking about the anti-tail, but it should be small. So this is the study that I showed you two days ago. We can clearly see here, this is the nucleus. So what we are watching there is very bright for to see this shape. This was with a, a powerful telescope, 0 0.4 meters at uh, Italy. It's very similar to 3i Atlas, man. I remember in July with this plume and we can see something here that they show here anti-tail it's this one at the right it's bigger and they they show here in a different um, way so they put it on vertical they cut the the object at, at half and put the anti-tail in here and the tail so they could compare the um, the size of it and the anti-tail it's clear that the anti-tail it's bigger than the tail well both are plumes again i don't consider these tails man these are plumes but there's something that i have doubts about this and they didn't clarify very well they leave that doubt i will explain why you see it moved it's very similar to three atlas man it has more of this green shield. Comets have a tail. All comets have a tail because the solar wind and plasma bumps into the, the comet, the rock, icy rock, and then it sublimates and everything goes to the other side. It's so the opposite side of the sun. That is super easy to understand. And what goes away from the sun? The dust and the gas sublimated and formed that ionized gas tail. So in practical terms, in reality, 
there are two tails, one of dust, usually it's like that, one of dust, it's the dust and another one of gas. Sometimes they shift a bit and they we have one in one side and another one in the other side. Because of the composition, whatever. Comets do that. And what happened? People are saying that, okay, but anti-tail, because Three Atlas has an anti-tail. What they call an anti-tail, it's a plume towards the sun. So it's anti-tail because it's towards the sun instead of away from the sun. And it's very weird. It's an anomaly. Not only because it's towards the sun, but because it doesn't have anything behind. But the thing is, 3 Atlas has really a plume and it has really no tail. What comets do is, and we see here, is that we see an anti-tail that is not in reality an anti-tail. It's an illusion from the perspective that we see. For instance, if you see a comet like this, if a comet goes here like this, exactly how high rise captured it, high rise on Mars captured it, the object, the three atlas like this at the side, you see? The best position to, to watch it, it's crazy. If you watch like this and there's an anti-tail, you will see like this. But if you watch like this, the tail of the object here, the tail, will might look to you in a picture as an anti-tail. It's usually what happens with astrophotographers. They do the astrophotography and because of the perspective, the position of the Earth, where we are, taking the pictures, and the object, it looks like an anti-tail, but in reality it's something that goes behind, because it's all two-dimensional. It's very, very similar to what we see with the sun. When we watch the sun and those coronal mass ejections pop, sometimes we struggle to understand if it was on the far side of the sun or in the front side of the sun, because it's two-dimensional. We don't see in 3D. And many times we understand that it was far-sighted because we don't see anything exploding in the sun. It happens a lot here with me and you. Now, in this object, we don't know. We don't know if it's an illusion or if it's like 3 Eye Atlas, really an anti-tail, which makes 3 Eye Atlas different from any other object, it's not like a comet. Comets have a tail. Not an anti-tail pointing towards the sun. It's an illusion. An optical illusion, really an illusion because of two dimensions. The only way to know that is the astronomers that made that work to explain all the angles and everything so we can understand if it was something from a perspective or not, for instance, this image from Hubble, this poof here is in reality bigger than this. It's a bit bigger. Why is not visible here the real size of it? Because this is not a picture from Hubble from a side. It's not like this. It's not like this. This is a side, a size, you see, almost my head. But if I shift it a bit you see that the size size from here till here it's smaller it's what happened here with hubble Aviloy made the calculations with the perspective everything and calculated the real size of that plume it's still a plume but it was bigger than what we can see here because it's from us from it's it's slight slightly shifted and here we have this object shifted as well. How much? I don't know. But the astronomers that made this work, here we just want the truth, man. They live like the doubt. A comet real tail, the gas tail, is always blown away from the sun by solar radiation. But comets also leave behind a long thin dust trail along their orbit. 
like crumbs on the path they already traveled. That's why I say to you, oftentimes, that that, that they tried to call a tail to Three Atlas, it's not a tail, it's a bit of smoke or whatever, you know, the breeze. It's not a cometary tail. When the Earth crosses the comet's orbital plane, we look edge on at that last trail. That trail can line up in our view so that it appears to stick out towards the sun. So the anti-tail is not the comet shooting a real tail in the wrong direction. It's a flat sheet of dust seen from a tricky angle making it look like a reverse tail. It can be what happened here. The thing is, 3i Atlas has really something pointing even worse than the sun. It had pointing towards the sun, really not an illusion. And now it has something, another anomaly, that is not pointing towards the sun and not pointing away from the sun. It's pointing towards the movement, forward. Like lights in the car or a plane. It's crazy anomaly. It's a crazy anomaly of 3i Atlas. Super, super weird. And that's nothing that happens in a comet. To have that plume pointing towards the movement of the comet as well. So anti-tails are something that we, depending on the perspective, we might see them and photograph them. But they don't exist in a comet.